Only 0.1% of viewers can press subscribe with their eyes closed. Do you guys want to know how to get the meta shades for free? I'll show you how. Don't forget to use my star code, Kristen, when buying Robux or Premium. Let's go ahead and join the game Ready Player 2 Hub. It's going to be the first official game with the large icon. Let's join. Once you join the game, you're going to see a platform with seven doors. There's going to be seven items in separate games that you need to complete first. All of those videos are on my channel, but I've also added them at the end of today's video. Once you've collected all seven, you can stand on the middle platform and it'll light up. Now we have all seven items. If we stand in the middle, it will light up, which gives us the badge as well as the meta shades. And now we can fly back down to the platform. Let's leave the game and see what these look like. They're under face items. They look like diamonds. I think these are so pretty. Let me know, what do you guys think? Want to know how to get the Robe of Madness as well as the Crown of Madness completely for free? I'll show you how. Let's go ahead and join Piggy. Right here, it's the official Piggy game. Let's join. We're also going to need to join Book 2 and choose Alice for the map. We're gonna choose Bot at the, as the game mode. I actually completed this solo on my own. So we're gonna need the orange key, which will unlock this door. We're also gonna need the scissors to cut the tape. So let's go over and do that right here. There's the mop. We're gonna need to come back for that, but let's grab the cyan key right here. And next we have the green key, which is going to unlock the little door over in the laundry room. And there's the red key. So let's go unlock that, and there's going to be a puddle, so we need to go back and grab that mop. Now we can actually suck up that mop, clean it up, and let's trick our trader here. So now we're going to need to go back into the middle door and click it. Pay very close attention to how many knocks. Now let's go over to the cafe to find the dice by the bench. And this was actually three knocks, so we're going to set the dice to three. Let's knock again. The second number is two. So let's head over to the laundry mat. Here's the dice. Let's select two. And let's go head back over and click the door once again, which is again number two. So we're going to put it in the dice in the little room of the laundry room. Click the middle door. This little pop-up will show and the door will open. So once you get inside, the first step, you're going to need to have all of the levers facing the same way. It does take a little bit of time, but once it actually is completed, then this door will open. And then you're going to need to put out all four of the torches in the middle of the room. Then head back over to the levers and have them face all the opposite way. This will open the next door. Now just go across this little pathway here and we're going to look for the numbers on the wall. We're going to put in the code that we got from the door in the same order. Three, and then we're going to go find two and click it twice. And now that will open the door over by the elephant. We're going to walk through and this is going to complete it and give us the badge. The crown of madness is actually going to drop outside of the door. Now let's leave the game and see what all of these items look like. Here's the robe of madness. I love this. It is so cute and there's even matching bottoms of madness as well. So you can have a full look. And here's the crown of madness. I think it's beautiful. What do you guys think? Let me know. Want to know how to get the How to Program Hat Accessory for free? I'll show you. First, let's go ahead and join the game Bee Swarm Simulator. It's the first one. Let's join. Now there are going to be seven codes that you are going to need to put in that will actually help you. And I will make sure to pin all seven of these down in the comments. So now we're going to go over and claim our hive. And let's head over to the shop. 
We're gonna need to purchase the goggles and one of the codes that you guys just entered actually has some of the ingredients that we can craft these. There's gonna be one more item that we need to go collect. So let's go get that now. Over here by the computer is going to be that final piece. Now we can craft the goggles. Let's go back over to the computer, press E, and we're gonna need to watch for the four symbol code and the order. You're gonna need to write this down probably to remember. Everybody's code is going to be different, so the code you see right now, it's going to be different from the code you guys will see when you click as well. Now that we have all four symbols, make sure that you write them in the correct order that you see them appear on the B. Then you're going to need to put them in a line on the dandelion field in the order that you just seen them. There's going to be four symbols that you need to put in. If you make a mistake, you can go back and change it. Once you put them in the correct order, four happy faces will appear. The next step is a little bit tricky, so we're going to head back up to the computer and when we press E, you will see that we are looking for the next code. However, when the B spins, it disappears. So we're gonna need to go find the three locations that the bee has spawned. Make sure to write the three symbols in order once again, and it will actually spawn over three separate fields, and that is where you need to put in the code. So first field is the sunflower field. Everybody's fields and codes will be different from mine. And the second one he spawned on was the mushroom field. So there's the second code. The third field that he spawned over was actually up on above to the clover field. So we can go over, put in that third symbol, and the happy face will appear. And now we can do the next step. Back over to the computer. Now when the computer and the bee appears, he actually is going to show you four letters. Write these letters in the correct order as well. So the letters stand for the field. My letters were D. For the dandelion field, we're gonna need to find the symbol and write it down. And there's the symbol right there, the bracket. Next was the M, which is going to be for the mushroom field. Again, your guys' code will be different from mine. Then we had C for clover. So we're gonna find this symbol and mark it down. And the final one was S for sunflower. And there's the final symbol. Now we can go over to the field that has the blue flowers and we're gonna need to mark all four of the symbols that we just got in the correct order. So we have bracket, the and, the question mark, and the squiggle. Once again, four happy faces will appear. Now we can head back over to the computer. This is the final step. Press E and this should appear into the book. And there's the book. And this will also give you the badge, which means we've got the accessory. Let's go see what this looks like. Here it is. Okay, I love this. It's super thick and it has a lot of details on it. Let me know, what do you guys think? Wanna know how to get the entire Boomtastic outfit? It comes with the top, bottom, and necklace. I'll show you. First, let's go ahead and join the game Robloxian High School. It's going to be the first one. Once you get into the game, go all the way to the back of the hallway into the library. Sit into one of the chairs that have the desk and computer. Wait about a minute and then a key will appear. Then you just need to grab that key which will unlock the door for the janitor's room. So the janitor's room is right here. It will allow you to unlock that back door. Go all the way down the stairs through the portal. Now that we've got through the portal, this is gonna be the tricky part. You actually need to get to the other end of the obby. There is checkpoints, so you don't need to worry about that, but once you get to the very end of this obby, jump down and it'll take you to the items. You're gonna see the necklace over here, so all you need to do is step onto it, and there's the badge, and that'll actually give you all items. Now let's check out what they look like. So here is all of the pieces together, the top, the bottom, and the necklace. Let me know, what do you guys think? Want to know how to get this chaotic top hat completely free? I'll show you how. First, let's go ahead and join the game Dragon Quest. It's going to be the second one right here. Let's join. Once you get into the game, follow me to collect the diamonds in color order. You're going to need to find all of the gems in the right color order. There's seven of them. You're going to need to go from red, yellow, blue, cyan, white, purple, and the last one is green. 
I accidentally cut out collecting the white diamond, but it is behind a tree on the hill. This step is very important. So the first one we're looking for is the red diamond. It's behind this tree. Now follow me to get the yellow diamond. This is going to be behind these buildings. It's kind of hidden at the bottom, so you easily could miss it. Now let's go over and find the blue one behind this tree. Now in order to find the teal diamond, this one's actually a little bit tricky because you're going to need to go down by the water. Now that we're under the water, it's kind of in this little cave area. Now let's go over to get the purple. This one's going to be quite a walk, so make sure to follow me and where I go. We're going to need to go through the water over to this beachy type of area. Follow me. And there it is. You can see it kind of in the grassy area. Now let's head back to get the final diamond, the green one. We're going to need to go and find this little secret cave, climb over the rocks, and you're going to need to complete this little obby to get to the top. On the other side of these tracks, you're going to go through the door, and there's the green diamond. Now let's go to the next step, and we're going to need to go back to the water to find the gate with the iron doors in the code. So just go up to the gates and you can actually see the code behind the iron doors. I believe it's going to be different for everybody and then press the green enter button and this is going to teleport you to the next step. So this is where it gets really tricky. This is going to be an obby followed by a fight of the boss. It is timed. If you die in this, you're actually going to need to repeat the first step in getting all of the diamonds in color order. So just go ahead, complete this obby until you get to the boss. Also, a word of advice once you break through to beat the boss is to take down the HP towers first. Now that we've defeated the boss, we've got the badge, now let's leave the game and check out this new hat. <gasps> Ooh, this looks really, really cool. This is going to make some really fun looks. Let me know, what do you guys think? Want to know how to get the entire glitch teapot set completely free? I'll show you. Let's go ahead and join the game Bad Business. The VIP servers are free, and I highly recommend using one for this. Let's join. Once you join, click on and add in the code UNICORN, and click redeem. And now we have the goggles. Now let's click back and click on our avatar so we can change the outfit. Click on face and add the goggles. Now click back. And back. Now we're going to need the factory map, or that's the one I chose. There's going to be eight of these hidden codes all around the map. They're going to be on all of the maps, so it actually doesn't matter which one you join. I just got used to this one. So once you go ahead, you're going to need the four codes that actually once together create the unicorn image. So you don't need to actually collect all eight, and once you get them, Go ahead and insert four of those codes so that you can get that unicorn image in the proper order. It'll start uploading and now we're going to get to Operation Unicorn. And click begin. There are going to be many waves of the zombies. And once you clear the area, just follow the V icon on the screen to the next area until you actually get them all. It does take a bit of time, don't worry if you die, because the hearts actually are the lives that you have. I didn't have very many left by the end of it. It took about 20 minutes to complete. Once you get to the end, follow the white area to the unicorn and you'll drop down. And there you're going to see the teapot, walk up to it, and then your mission will be complete with the badge. Now let's leave the game and try on all of our new items. We get the glitch top as well as the matching bottoms. This is super cool.
And we also get the glitch teapot head as well. So you can wear these individually, or of course you can wear them all together as a set. There's the teapot head. And here's all together. What do you guys think? Let me know. Wanna know how to get the Helm of Riptide helmet completely free and the armor? I'll show you. Let's go ahead and join the game Shark Bite. It's gonna be the official game right here. Let's join. First step is to become the shark. So once you become the shark, we're gonna need to go around the water and collect all four of the red buoys. And we're gonna eat them. Here's the third, and let's go collect that last one. Now let's go over to where the lighthouse and the waterfall is and super boost into the green glowing area to unlock the fish. Wait until he's done talking, finish the round, and once you get back to the lobby, go over to where the pictures are and stand under the shark one. Type in you're gonna need a bigger boat to chat to unlock the four red buoys on your screen. We're gonna go over to where the smaller island is and there's gonna be a sunken ship on the bottom of the ocean. We're gonna need to attach those four red buoys. It's okay if you do die because when you rejoin, you're gonna be able to continue. Now let's attach that final buoy. There's gonna be two on the front and two on the back. You're gonna get a cutscene, which I've actually sped up. We're gonna need to go back to the fish and talk to him again. And he's going to give you a green emerald. And now you're gonna wanna click on spectate. Go up on these bubbles, which will take you inside of the lighthouse. Once you get on top of the lighthouse, look for the telescope and we're going to add our gem. Clicky, and look for the sign. It's just a glowing yellow. Once you get it, it'll turn your screen yellow. And it's going to unlock a bridge to a new portal. Let's go through. Now we've unlocked the robot fish. This step, it's okay if you die, but you are gonna need to restart the boss battle of Leonard. So there is a couple of stages you're gonna need to do. The motive is to kill Leonard. There's gonna be a couple different stages that you're just gonna need to. So like I said, it's okay if you do die, you're just gonna need to repeat the boss battle. The goal is to get the red line all the way down till he dies. You're not gonna wanna click that glowing red line. You're also not gonna wanna let those hit you. They can kill you. When he spins out the torpedoes, try to get behind him so they hit him instead of you and don't let the red laser hit you. Once we actually complete it, then he dies. And it's going to respawn you in a new game. And here we go, we can see the water has split. And it'll actually spawn you at the bottom. All you're gonna need to do is run to the end. Once you see the helm of Riptide helmet, just jump until you actually get the congratulations with the badge. Let's leave the game and see what these look like. So we're gonna get a full body, a top, as well as the matching bottoms. We're also going to get the Helm of Riptide helmet right here. I think this is so cool. You can wear them separately or wear them as a set. Let me know, what do you guys think? Wanna know how to get Rick's boom box completely free? I'll show you how. Let's go ahead and join the game Vehicle Simulator. It's gonna be the first game with the large icon. Let's join. Once you load into the game, we're gonna need to set our navigation. Click this flag and we're gonna be able to follow it up to the laboratory. Spawn in a vehicle. It'll help you get there a little bit faster. Now let's head up to the laboratory. I'm gonna speed it up, but follow where I go. Now we've made it to the top of the hill and we can go inside the laboratory. Look for the vending machine and enter in this code in the proper order. Chocolate donut, then hot dog, Loxy-Cola, then we're gonna do the pink frosted donut, the white frosted donut, back up to the hot dog in the Bloxy cola 
that will activate the door. Now we're gonna go over and we're going to head down to the secret area. Now we've made it inside, go into the first room to the left and you're going to see the night vision goggles. Go ahead and purchase them. And we're gonna need to reset to go to the beginning of the map. Now that we have our night vision goggles, we need to collect all eight of the discs. Follow where I go to find all eight. You're gonna need to have your night vision goggles equipped to be able to see them. Now you can see the green glow, and if you have your sound on, you can also hear them as well. Let's go get the other seven. I've sped it up, but you guys can't follow where I go. I'll meet you back here when we get to the eighth disc. laboratory. Look for the little lake and it's actually going to be beside the train hole where the camping is. And there it is. It's gonna show that the door has now opened. So now we're gonna need to go back to the laboratory and put that code back in in the same order. Chocolate donut, hot dog, bloxy cola, frosted donut, glazed donut, hot dog, and cola. Now let's head back down to the secret area. Now we can actually go in through this little area, drive to the end of the road. Now we can go inside where the space shuttle is and you're gonna need to input the code 1985 and then press OK. That's actually going to open the door on the spaceship. It is glitched now and it's upside down, but if you go over on this ledge, look down and jump, go inside, jump up to the seat, and you'll get the badge just like that. You're gonna get a cutscene as well. Now let's leave the game and check out this boom box. It's gonna be as your back accessory right here. Let's try it on. It's actually pretty big. I think this is cute. What do you guys think? Let me know.